Hi dear students, welcome back to this tutorial. In this video, we can discuss about the design of combinational logic circuits. Okay, so in a digital system, basically we have two different types of circuits. One is the combinational circuit, another is sequential. What is the basic difference between these two? In a combinational circuit, a circuit that generate output, the output depends only on the present input that is combinational circuit a circuit that generates certain output based on whatever input values currently present on its input terminals but this is not the case of sequential circuit sequential sequential circuit that generate output which depends on the present inputs that present in the uh, input terminals of the circuit as well as it depends on the previous state of the system Okay, so in simple words, combinational circuit generate output based on the current input. But the sequential circuit, it generate output based on current input plus previous state. So in this video, we can consider or focus on this combinational circuit design. In our coming videos, we can discuss in detail about various sequential circuits. Okay, so in case of a combinational circuit, we can apply any number of inputs to its input terminal, like n number of input. And a combinational circuit can generate m number of output. Okay, so we can apply any number of input and any number of output. The previous state of the input does not have any effect on the present state of the circuit. That is the basic idea of a combinational circuit. The previous state of the input does not uh, have any effect. That means the previous state of the system does not affect the present output of the circuit. The combinational circuit do not use any memory. Why? Because for generating a new state or generating a new output uh, in case of a combinational circuit, it does not depends on the previous state. That means we don't want to remember anything. Right, so we don't use any memory in case of combinational circuit, but in case of sequential circuit, the output or the current state of the system depends on current input as well as the previous state. In that case, we need to remember uh, the status of our previous state, right? So, in that case, we need some memory, but in combinational circuit, we don't have any memory, the system depends only on present input. Okay, so this is the block diagram for a combinational circuit. We can apply any number of input. Input may be 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, and it generates different number of output. 1 in output, 2 output, etc. Up to m number of output. Okay, so we uh, this particular diagram shows different types of combinational logic circuits available in our digital system. Basically, we have adders, subtractors, comparators, etc. All these are used for certain arithmetic and logical functions. And for the transmission purpose, we have multiplexer, demultiplexers, encoders, decoders, etc. And we have different code conversions. Sorry, code converters. Binary to some uh, BCD, etc. code conversion. Okay, so all these types of circuits in the digital uh, system are example for combinational circuits. Combinational circuit, keep this point always in your mind. Combinational circuit, generate an output based on the present input. It does not depend on the previous state of the system. So, for the same reason, for, a, for the design of a combinational circuit, we don't have any memory. Because we don't want to uh, remember anything for generating a new state. Okay. So, the function of a combinational logic circuit can be specified in three different ways. Okay. The combinational circuit functionality can be explained in three different ways like using truth table, Boolean algebra expression and using logic diagram of the circuit. So, Truth table is like this. This truth table indicate or express certain functionality of a combinational digital circuit. 
and we can generate certain boolean expression the same functionality we can express using boolean function or boolean expression like this how to generate this how to express this function using this boolean expression for that we know that how to generate such expression simplify this using camap and generate expression like this okay and the third one logic diagram representation of a combinational circuit these two tables and this boolean expression we have already discussed many times right now the logic diagram representation corresponding to this combinational circuit functionality that is like this so this is our boolean expression corresponding to our combinational circuit functionality from this it is clear that how many inputs are there in this functionality we need three inputs a b and c which are represented here and it generate only single output which is represented here and look at this that is a x nor b our expression is a x nor b plus c so this is clear that first we want to perform an x nor operation between the input a and b okay so what we want to do next for that we need to take one x nor gate right to which or to this x nor gate the inputs are a and b input and it generate an output a x nor b plus c means the output of a x nor b must be odd with third input c so the output of this x nor operation we want to or it with the third input c now so now we need an or gate okay to which one of the input is the output of this x nor gate and the other input is the c input and so this is the logic diagram or the circuit corresponding to this particular boolean expression so this is the final output which is available here in this or gate output so this is the logic diagram corresponding to our boolean function okay so now we can consider okay now we can check whether this implemented circuit is matching with this boolean expression or this truth table for that so what are the output of this truth table for a equal to 0 b equal to 0 c equal to 0 we need output equal to 1 that is matching here okay, now both the three inputs are in switch off stage now so it generate an output 1 okay next a equal to 0 b equal to 0 with c equal to 1 again we need an expected output 1 now we want to make on this switch c again the output is 1 next case a equal to 0 b equal to 1 c equal to 0 in this case the output is in switch off stage okay so now make the switch off c is in 0 or in switch off stage but b is in active stage and a is in off stage so exactly matching with the output of this truth table Okay, next case 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. Output is 1. Okay, output is active here. Next is 1, 0, 0. A is 1 with V is 0. B, 0. Sorry, B, 0, C, 0. Output is off. Next is 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. Output is 1. Next is 1, 1, 0. 1, 1 0 still output as 1 next is 1 1 1 both are active both the three input or sorry a b c all the three inputs are active still the output is 1 so this logic circuit this truth table and the boolean expression these three are the different method for expressing the combinational logic circuit 
functionality. This is the pictorial representation or the diagrammatic representation of our combinational logic circuit function. Thank you.